Drone flight optimization is a critical aspect of modern UAV operations, as it can help to maximize the efficiency and effectiveness while minimizing risk and improving safety. Some objectives of this optimization include reduced, uh, in, like increased flight time, increased payload capacity, improve battery life, or minimize risk. Now, drone optimization can be used with model predictive control to optimize flight paths in real time. And it counts for a range of factors such as wind speed and direction, altitude, and obstacles to determine the most efficient and safest route for the drone to follow. And you even have more modern architectures where you might want to have something like electric uh, vertical takeoff and landing where you have this drone that is going to transition into a more like a fixed wing aircraft. Okay, when it is in uh, horizontal uh, flight versus vertical, it might behave more like something like a quad rotor. Okay, with a vertical hovering capabilities. And that allows you to have the efficiency of the long range flight, but also the stability and the ease of landing and takeoff with a very short runway or no runway. Okay, so we wanna just explore a very simple model here. And that is for the drone or UAV to be able to accelerate from one position to the next. We wanna do that in a minimized final time. So we're gonna minimize um, a time final. And we're gonna do that by adjusting some states Z and also our acceleration U and then also our final time TF. Okay, so we're gonna adjust those. Now we're subject to some constraints. All right, we're gonna be subject to a first constraint, which is our position. I'll write this as a derivative. Uh, the derivative of position equals the velocity. And the derivative of our velocity equals acceleration. So just a simple uh, acceleration model with velocity and acceleration and position. And then the initial condition of this is going to be uh, zero, zero. So we're just gonna start at zero velocity, zero position. And then we have a final condition as well. We wanna get to a position of 300 with a velocity of zero. Now we don't wanna exceed certain bounds like our position. We don't wanna go over 330 or the velocity maybe 33. So we wanna be able to restrict those. And our acceleration, our acceleration is going to be uh, less than or equal to 1 and greater than or equal to negative 2. So that's when we're decelerating is the negative. So we can decelerate a lot faster than we can accelerate. So let's just go ahead and review this solution. I'm going to do this in Python Gecko. So I'll get uh, from Gecko, we'll import Gecko, and then we'll import matplotlib.pyplot. And we'll import that as PLT, just to be able to visualize the solution. We'll also get NumPy as well. Okay, and then we'll create our gecko model, remote equals false, no internet connection required. And then m.time, we'll put that as lin space between zero and one. And the reason why we'll do that, that's a, like a non-dimensional time there, we'll expand that or contract it as needed. Okay, we'll have Z1, that's gonna be our position. And we'll have an upper bound of 330 and a lower bound of zero. Okay, there's our velocity. And upper bound of 33, lower bound of zero as well. Okay, we're gonna fix the final uh, for zero and 300. Okay, for Z2 and Z1. And then we'll adjust the final time as well. Okay, that's going to be 500. We'll give it an initial guess of 500, but the lower bound is 0 0.1. So we don't want to go to zero because we're going to be dividing by zero if we do that. Okay, TF, we'll say status equals one. And so that means that we can adjust that. And then we'll have a discrete decision variable. And this is our manipulated variable. Okay, and we have value equals one. Lower bound is negative two to one. And we'll say integer equals true. So it can choose to either fully decelerate or fully accelerate. 
we're going to create this as a mixed integer linear programming problem. Okay, we'll have a z1. Okay, e equals z2. Those are that's the first differential equation. We divide by final time to scale that time factor. All right, and we'll minimize final time. And then we'll create a couple options here as well. Okay, select our solver. We need to choose uh, AP opt for this one. And we'll say display equals false. I can set that to display equals true, just so we can see the iteration summary. All right, and then we want to display the solution. There's our total time that it takes, and then we'll create some plots as well. Okay, so that's basically it for the code to optimize. And then I'll just let this finish typing it out in terms of creating the, um, the plots that we want to see for the solution. We'll put our position on there, and then we'll also put our velocity, z1 and z2, and give them some labels. Okay, this is our first subplot. And we'll create a legend and a grid, and then create our second subplot. And this one's going to be our acceleration. This is our manipulated variable, the one that we can adjust. Okay, and there's our X label and Y label with our legend. And we'll put a grid on there and then also a tight layout. Okay, we'll save the figure as optimal time dot png and dots per inch 300 a little higher quality than the standard and then show it okay so let's say put this to true on display and i'll just set this remote equals true just to okay i'll go ahead and do this just to be able to see the iteration summary all right we're going to go ahead and run this Looked like it solved fairly fast, about one second to be able to solve. There's our objective function, and there's the total time for that maneuver. So you can see you get full acceleration, and then right at the last you get full deceleration, and then back up to zero. So here we could see you know the z value. It arrived at 300, and you can also see the velocity z2 is also at zero at the end. So because it can accelerate half as fast as it can decelerate, it had to spend 20 seconds accelerating and then 10 seconds decelerating in the end. Okay, so that's it for this dynamic optimization problem. In reality, you'd probably have a much more complicated model of the drone dynamics, maybe in three dimensions as well. Uh, but this just gives a framework to be able to explore some of these types of problems to be able to optimize flight path or flight operations of a UAV. Let me share with you the source code for this problem. It's here on this website right here for drone flight, and it gives the source code as well as the results as well. Go ahead and click Get Code to be able to get just a text version of the code without the formatting there. And here's some additional information about Gecko and Gecko Optimization Suite, including the documentation and some other applications and references that are there, along with some additional example problems as well, where you can try it online without uh, installing anything just through Google Colab. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on flight optimization uh, just with this simple acceleration deceleration model and let me know if you have any other comments or suggestions for additional content